Okay, so we're just going to go through like some of the routine maintenance real quick with the Singer valve and the optional pilot system material. So each gauge has its own isolation and bleed valve. And then uh, seamless pilot system braided hose, so for easy service and uh, long-term maintenance. And so the first thing you do when you kind of check out your valve is you want to make sure your gauges work. So you'll isolate the gauge. You see it has pressure on it. You use a standard screwdriver and you use this bleed and you'll see the pressure drops when you open up and let that bleed. And then you charge it up again and you see the pressure rise. And the pressure goes straight to where the pilot set. So this is also an opportunity to check your pilot. So while there's flow through here, you can adjust your pilot up and down and you'll see the uh, gauge re respond. So this is a way you can set your pilot without actually having to flow through the valve, run hydrants, isolate all these different zones. So you can test all of that stuff just right here. And the other maintenance is your strain and blowdown. We just include an internal valve for that. So you just open this. That out. So while you're doing this, you want to put the valve in the position you want. So if it's already modulating, you want to lock it there. Or if you want to close it all the way, then lock it. You close their bonnet valve and the volume of water can't can't move, so the whole valve can't move while you're doing all this. Um, and then the last thing you do is you go ahead and open up your valves here. While you're doing that check, you want this valve to be closed. But when you're ready for the valve to work again, you open this. And then uh, when everything's ready, you open this and the valve goes live.